Hello everyone, it's my pleasure today to be with you as a keynote speaker in the topic of landscape architecture for the outdoor spaces of the university campuses. My presentation today is to talk about the main principles while consider in designing outdoor spaces in different university campuses. Our task in this project is to design the outdoor spaces between the colleges and universities. In this presentation, I would like to show the process of designing the outdoor spaces in the university campuses. In the beginnings, we put a vision in the design to how far we can connect between colleges and universities design the outdoor spaces for the students as well as the users may come from outside the universities. Here in this slide I show for you the achievement before uh, the uh, design and after the design and to show the effort had been done for each one. It should be noted that when we design uh, the outdoor spaces, we consider that each university located in different area, which has unique environment, uh, unique uh, history, unique background, as well as for so social habits and activities. In the coming slides, I will show you the process and the scenario that have been done for this achievement. We put in our priority that there is a main objective from the Ministry of Education is to serve the, the society by uh, having this university. So we put in our consideration that we have to provide a very unique design that meets the needs and the requirement of the different users within the university campuses and take into uh, consideration that the economical cost and the, the quality of selecting the design elements for the in terms of installation, in terms of maintenance, in, in terms of making an uh, easy way to running these outdoor spaces. We studied the movement for the users within the university campuses, so we summarized it into three main circulation or three main directions. One of them is the destination, the other part is the trans transitional, and the final one with passing by. So we put in consideration these three main circulation for the users, and uh, to show within these spaces, within these open spaces, to how far the identity should be shown within the project itself. Identity and practical design were main issues while we think about design this the university campuses. We put objectives for designing open spaces in each university campuses to meet and satisfy or suit the users in these universities. So uh, when we start designing our project, we uh, did some studies related to the main elements related to softscape and hardscape. Hardscape, uh, we know that uh, using material should be uh, relatively to the environment, especially with the harsh environment, and how far it suits the uh, hot or cold air weather here. As well as for the softscape, because we have different type of species, species within the area which uh, uh, has a challenge of uh, shortage of water and the sometimes very hot environment sometimes we have snow in some region of the of the uh, kingdom so we had to classify the softscape issues here the carefully selecting for softscape and hardscape elements become a priority so we had to face the shortage of water 
as well as the harsh environment in selecting softscape. Moreover, to find the proper hardscape elements that suit the harsh environment. We concern the time frame, places and type of users that all of them had to be concerned when we sort activities in terms of high performance for these outdoor spaces. Starting from the principle about uh, the main frame that respects the sustainability. So we put in uh, consideration that our work will go for or respecting different uh, main frames. This main frame is the environmental frame, social and cultural frame, economic and engineering frame. Within each frame of this, we uh, put some elements. Within these elements, we uh, respect while we are designing the project. In a quickly, we uh, have the first frame, which is social and cultural frame. We try to insert from each uh, region the main culture issues in terms of identity, in terms of belongs, in terms of the history, because as we know that each part in, uh, or each uh, design has to insert its unique um, element of identity. Moreover, we had to put in consideration that we have uh, to respect the equity between users in terms of special needs or others. And this one of the uh, major um, concern in design outdoor spaces, as all of us know about it. Moreover, we studied the law and the regulation that manage the construction in this area. It was very significant to study the environmental frame in terms of topography, climate, flora and the fauna and other issues. Such as the urban context. In the engineering firm, we, uh, uh, frame, we have to put in consideration that we have a technology. This technology will play very positive in attracting users to use outdoor spaces. These spaces should attract uh, the teenagers, which is almost the age of the users in the student, as well as the staff members to be in relation within the urban context. Um, we have to uh, again to focus about some changes happened in the environment related to uh, these circumstances like Corona and whatever. So to how far when we accommodate a design, we how can we find like, the distances and uh, supply with the informations and be in the safe side. We need to put in vision in design that each part should be functionally and economically easy and uh, uh, visibility one and it is not only showing every part should be functional had been in a proper way selecting material is highly consideration why we design these outdoor spaces as well so in the design criteria, we went for, as we said it before, selecting the proper species for the plants. As well for the uh, hardscape elements in terms of flooring, uh, flooring design, light, lightweight structure, lighting elements, water elements, and even sign design and uh, so on. The phases of the project had been divided into main five phases as explained in this slide. So the important part of how far we encourage workability in this universe. So uh, the design ideas depend on dividing the movement of car and separate from the movement from uh, the users, uh, workability, bicycles and so on. So we divided the circulation 
and to make it clear and make it safe for everyone to use it in the space. To encourage walkability, we can see in this figure that there is a clear separation between the vehicle circulations and the walkability issues in the campuses. In each university, the Rhode Island had been designed to reflect the identity in the campus. Design this part of university has unique vision in terms of selecting the pattern, the red, the color, to reflect the identity for each part from the other part. It is a quality for the visual issues. Here we can see uh, this example came from Najran University campus as we had uh, a nice design for example if the spaces in Central Garden we have sub uh, gardens we have minor small gardens and each one of them we focus is to give like intimate space for a student to have comfortable space to have a uh, place to study a place to uh, recreational place to uh, work uh, as in uh, workshops place to uh, make social interacting. Using the outdoor spaces in the student accommodation is to enable the student in studying after finishing the educational day. As we can see, we focus upon that to make like social interacting as well as give a, a plenty of areas for learning and educational and studying and uh, sharing experience between students so to enable gathering area in this area here this zone is related to uh, let's say active day in terms of educational uh, days or learning time so this here coming from student as an approaching for a place or transition or have a destination so this type of uh, circulations has been carefully studied as we can see to how far we play with the pattern this pattern become like a landmark or unique for all the spaces within the area and uh, there is like emphasizing for the circulation give nice color and this pattern leads to uh, show the circulation as well as for the gathering spaces and we can see we have here transition between the corridors in uh, a nice way as we can see here we focus upon uh, solving the roundabout in different uh, landscape architecture work in terms of statues as a landmark here this landmark play like attracting point and to uh, show the circulation and directions between spaces we can see here even for this uh, uh, round, small roundabout that we have uh, one theme had been followed in all university. So this theme respects the main concept and the main, let's say, um, uh, philosophy of the design. There is a one line for our design had been applied in even for the roundabout speeches of the soft and hard as we saw in the previous slides. We can see here even for the cold de sac or for the closed end uh, routers that uh, these streets it is closed ended and it is again has its value and its important had its care in design for even a small part of these open spaces. We care about even end of the streets. This to give a message that for users that if someone is care about you even for the minor part that means there is a care about every part in your time in the university ending of my presentation it should be noted that the main frames help the designer for these universities to meet the users needs and respect the human dimensions in this area and the resulted comprehensive design for such university play a, a very good point for encourage users to go for outdoor spaces in a healthy environment and encourage workability, which uh, one of the challenge in designing the universities. 
end of my presentation. I hope that I covered the point in a very quickly and I acknowledge the conference for this opportunity. Thank you very much.